The guy's boiling a pot of water and it looks like some sort of residue is just building. It almost looks like it was oh, cooking man. crack or something. Hey, listen, on a serious note, I keep you telling everybody, crack. get your bottled water saved up because yeah. that stuff's coming downstream from Ohio. If you're in Kentucky, Indiana, if you're in, in, in Tennessee, North Alabama, North Mississippi, I mean, I don't know if you know that, but that, those rivers do lead to the Mississippi mm -hmm. River. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what do you, and, why do you think they lit mm -hmm. it on fire instead of using like a, you know, like sand or something? Why do you think they lit it on fire to make it worse? Man, I wish I was smart enough to have an answer for you on that, <laughs> other than the fact that maybe they do want to kill us. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, but this is a bad deal. And you got animals dropping dead. And um, as some people said, they just basically nuked a city. Mm -hmm. It's some real deal. What do you think on that? I mean, they said it's we, worse than Chernobyl. You're I mean, the conspiracy guy. What do you think? Well, this is for me. Then you see that Netflix came out with a new show. I forget what it's called, like Train Derailment. And yeah. it's about a train being derailed. And as a matter of fact, some of the people that live in East Palestine, Ohio, were extras in the freaking They filmed it over. literally there. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. So it's like, weird. what are the odds? And, and for me, you know, maybe I'm a coincidence theorist. I'm not saying Netflix necessarily went and put a penny on the track and made the train fall over, but. Just something is very fishy about this. I bet everybody watches that film now. Yeah, I know. I bet a lot of people are at least talking oh about God. it. Oh, my God. Netflix was behind it. Why not? See, why not? We can why formulate not? Hey, that. Hey, but listen, Sarah's- Who owns Netflix? Yeah, the Obamas. Exactly right. Sarah's <laughs> laughing. Sarah's laughing. I'm not laughing. These people are in bed with the Obamas. <laughs> Netflix, they're, you know, uh, Cuties. Not... Do you remember your favorite show, the, Cuties? The, the, Do you remember how much you were watching yeah. Cuties? No. Sarah watched Cuties no. every episode, and no, she defended it. She said, oh, well, I like when the ch children dance. I think it's cute. I dance as a child. Never said and that. then you made me watch it. And you know what? I puked, and that was disgusting. <laughs> me too. Yeah, so. Is that, are we done? Well, Netflix is an evil corporation. No, so I legitimately said that. And they the executive producers of the Obamas. You, yeah. No, you, you said that, and I went, oh, wait. Netflix could have done it. Because okay, it's all look, about the money. You just follow the money. This is why, this is why That's what the answer is. people like us, especially <laughs> Alex, are so profoundly <laughs> popular. Yeah. <laughs> because we come up with these things, and people go, and aha, that maybe could have happened. Yeah, well, it's like a lawyer, um, and this is what they say, in a civil case... Sort of like a... Well, well, but listen, this is real quick. In a civil case, in a criminal case, the level of guilt is different. Like, in a criminal case, if you have one iota of doubt that the person mm -hmm. is innocent, you cannot charge him as guilty. But in a criminal, I mean, in a civil case, you can just think, oh, I think they're more guilty than not, right? It's just more of like a level of guilt. So I'm saying- Preponderance of the evidence. Preponderance of the evidence. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to say is we're just trying to give you that one little thing that kind of gets our client off. It's you know, something that one to thing think about. about. It is. Yeah, that one thing you're like, what is that? Is that the it's case? something to research. Well, yeah. I mean, especially because it, you pose the question, which is, it's just like a total dumb moment. Why did they do that? Yeah, well, I mean, I, Why, you, if they knew that that the chemicals were there, they would have, they should have known what the ramifications would be. So why would they do that? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I think burning it on, uh, catching it on fire. I think for me that was the biggest alarming thing because they do say that there's methods where they just, you know, dampen it and by adding right. some sort of chemical on top of it. And I, I don't know, maybe adding more chemicals to it is worse. Or somebody, but these are the same people that said the air after 9/11 was totally fine. Just go in. You know, the EPA said that that air was fine, and then you know, 20 years later, every fireman's dead that was on the scene. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing too. You have to factor in that FEMA is not there. At least as of the time of this taping, I don't know. Maybe They're they'll not really maybe they'll no because wow. the residents there there were like four thousand residents who were signing a petition saying, "Hey, can we get some help? Can we get some assistance?" FEMA is nowhere to be found. We're shipping billions of of dollars to Ukraine still to help <laughs> those people, yeah. and FEMA cannot even be bothered to come to this site that, as you mentioned, could be potentially worse than Chernobyl. 